Welcome back to Creme de la Creme's virtual preschool circle time. I'm Miss Zoe. I'm Miss Carrie. And we are so excited to have you here in our school family. You guys ready to sing our welcome song today? Good. This is my school family. This is my school family. This is my school family. Say good morning to a friend. Good, good morning. morning. Good morning. This is my school family. This is my school family. This is my school family. Wave to a friend. Say good morning to a friend. Good morning. This is my school family. This is my school. Family, this is my school family. We've got a friend. Wave to a friend. Say good morning to a friend. Good morning! We are so excited to have you guys with us today. We are starting a new theme for this month. It is different kinds of animals and this week we are starting with creepy crawly bugs. Ooh, who likes bugs? I don't. I'm not going to raise my hand. <laughs> but first, before we can get into learning about all of our new creepy crawly insect friends, we have to make our commitment. Do every time we start with circle time, we make a choice to our friends Max and Lily and Fernando and Fanny that we're gonna be kind or healthy, helpful or safe. We're gonna practice one of those for the whole day, and we're gonna use our commitment monsters to help remind us which commitment we make today. I'm gonna put my commitment monster next to helpful. Today, I'm gonna to keep my eyes open to watch for any opportunity where I can help somebody if they're having trouble, maybe calming down or sharing. I'm gonna to try to use my very best choice making skills to help someone else. Miss Zoe, what are you gonna to commit to today? I am going to commit to being safe today. Now, we are in kind of an odd situation, and right now being safe means that we're going to stay at home, we're going to wash our hands, and we are going to stay six feet away from people that we don't live with. So that is what I am going to work on today. Friends, what are you gonna choose to do today? Are you going to choose to be kind? Are you going to choose to be healthy? Will you choose to be helpful or safe? Shout it out, let me hear you. Oh, oh wonderful, I'm so glad my friends are choosing to make those commitments today. Great job, guys. All right, so we are going to move on to our morning message. Da -da -da. Today's morning message is interesting, Insects invade the backyard. Now, Miss Carrie was going through and underlining all the letter I's at the beginning of the words. Interesting, insects, and invade all start with the letter I. Does anyone remember how to do letter I in sign language? I, very good. Friends, when several words in a sentence begin with the same sound or letter, it's called alliteration. So this sentence has really great alliteration because there are one, two, three words that begin with letter I. You're right, it has a compound word too. Backyard is a compound word. Great job remembering from last week. I'm so proud of you. Friends, with our new theme for this week, insects, beginning letter I, we're gonna talk about- Miss Carrie, those aren't real, are they? 
No, these Ooh. are much too big to be Ooh. real insects. Okay. I got but nervous. They look very real though. They look real because they're meant to show you different parts of actual bugs. Here on my tray, I have an ant, a bee, and a ladybug. And I can see different ways that they're also the same. They're not named the same because they are different bugs and they do different things, but they have some similarities. My friends, can you tell what similarities these bugs, insects, have in common? All insects have one, two, three legs on both sides of their bodies. So three on this side and three on that side makes six legs. Casey Rain, good math. The insect ant has six, the bumblebee, has three on each side, and so does the ladybug. Three on each side is six legs. Miss Zoe, can you see what else they have in common? Hmm, I see that each of the bugs has two antenna sticking out from its head. Antenna help insects to feel and to smell how weird is that? They don't have noses to smell with, they have antennae. That's the stick looking part of their body on their heads. Right here. Also, insects all have three parts to their bodies. They have a head, just like you do. They have a thorax, that's different from us. But they also have an abdomen, which is the bottom portion of their body. We have abdomens, ours is in the middle though. So every insect has three parts to their bodies. Some like us and some very different. Now, each of these bugs also has a couple differences. Not all bugs are solid colored, spotted, or striped, and not all insects have wings. Some insects have wings but can't fly. We'll learn about those later this week. Ooh, I can't wait. Now, one of the bugs that Miss Carrie had on her tray was a ladybug. And everyone knows Miss Zoe and Miss Carrie like to sing. So of course, we have a song about ladybugs to introduce to you today. Can you guys count with me real quick? How many ladybugs do we have on the board? One, two, three, four, five, five little ladybugs. And that is the name of our song. Five little ladybugs sitting by the shore. Along came a goldfish, then there were four. four. This is the number four, and it has four spots. Four little ladybugs climbing up a tree. Along came a blue bird, then there were This is the number three, and it has three spots. Good counting. Three little ladybugs drinking up the dew. Along came a yellow duck, then there were two. You guys are doing great with your rhyming words. Two little ladybugs basking in the sun. Along came a green frog, then there was One little ladybug having lots of fun. Along came a black cat, then there was none. Good job, friends. I like that song. Maybe we'll sing it when you guys go back to school too. Now, my friends, we have been doing lots of talking about bugs, but we have only seen three. We have a book here that's going to show us many more and where you can find them. This book is titled Backyard Buds by Rochelle Barcoa and Pam Schiller. Should we sing our reading books is fun song before we open it up? We love that song. Reading books is fun. 
reading books is fun. Hi ho the Dario, reading books is fun. The author writes the words, the author writes the words. Hi ho the Dario, the author writes the words. The illustrator draws, the illustrator draws. Hi ho the Dario, the illustrator draws. Reading books is fun. Reading books is fun. Hi ho the Dario, reading books is fun. Backyard bugs. My name is Ed, but most people call me Bugs because I love bugs. Big bugs, small bugs, squirmy bugs, and happy bugs. My bug house is always occupied. I watch the bugs for a while and then I let them go at the end of the day. They need to go back to the bug world. I want to show you some of my favorite bugs. Come on, let's go on an insect safari. The mosquito is an annoying little bug that flies around damp places. It leaves itchy bug bites on your arms and legs. Another insect flying around the yard is the dirty bug, the fly. It can land fast and take off faster than any other insect. Ants are everywhere in the yard. They live in ant hills. Ants use their antenna for their sense of touch and their sense of smell. Where there are flowers, there are bees. Bees collect nectar from flowering trees and plants and make honey. Here's a painted lady butterfly during all three stages of its life cycle, which we'll learn about later this week too. The caterpillar eats and eats to prepare for the time it's in its cocoon. Inside the cocoon, the caterpillar transforms into a colorful adult butterfly. This is a dragonfly. It has two sets of wings to quickly move around. It can even fly backwards. This is a pink lady larva and pink lady adult. Ladybugs eat other bugs. Farmers love them. Hold your nose, ooh, it's a stinky bug. It's a ground beetle. It lives under rocks. And thankfully, the wolf spider loves a good mosquito snap, so it helps keep the mosquito population down. Now, do you see why I love bugs? They're all so interesting and unique. And imagine, they live right in your backyard as mine. My friends, all the different places you can find insects and bugs in your own backyard, sometimes even in your house. Can you go on your own bug safari, take pictures, or make a drawing of whatever bugs that you find? Put them in your own kind of book. Make a bug book for yourself. I hope you enjoy. Right. While you are outside going on your bug hunt, that would make you an entomologist. Can you say entomologist? It's a kind of a hard word because it has so many syllables. But an entomologist is a fancy word for a scientist who only studies insects. So now you know. When you're outside on your backyard bug hunt, you are being a what? Entomologist. Very good. Friends, we have been talking a lot about different kinds of bugs, and one of the things they all have in common, all insects have in common, are their antenna. And we're gonna use their antenna to have a new calming strategy. Breathing through your nose and blowing out the breath through your mouth, but we're gonna use antenna to help us breathe through our noses. So when you breathe through your nose, you're gonna pop up your antenna. And bring your antenna down when you exhale. Help me do it three times. 
Here we go. In your nose. Wonderful job, friends. Try using a ton of breathing the next time you feel anxious or sad or upset and you need a chance to calm yourself down. Until next time, I'm Miss Zoe, I'm Miss Gary, and we'll see you for the next circle time. Bye!